And joining us from the Tuscarawas County Health Department, their Director of Health Promotions and Community Relations is Jennifer Dima. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? Good morning, Brad. Not too bad for a Monday morning. How about you? Good, good. We got the rain to stop about midway through the event on Saturday, and uh, and it's all good. So uh, we saw you at the Community Safety Day this past Saturday. So really quickly, tell us about that. Uh, I, I'm assuming that that uh, ended up going pretty well, except for the guy who had the little... Uh, vehicle problem up on 250. Yes, yes. Um, Saturday morning, we were able to be near the Yorksville McDonald's area for Community Safety Day. We had a lot of families stop by and get their car seat checks. Um, a lot of folks stop by and get some great information uh, from us and from our partners at Empower Tusk, also Ohio State Highway Patrol and the Yorksville um, Police Department, Yorksville Fire Department, and the Sheriff's Office all participating. And of course, you guys from WBTC. It, you know, it was a really great event. Um, despite the rain, we were thankful for those who stopped by. We were able to share a lot of good uh, safety information, including free bike helmets for kids while we were there this past Saturday. That's true. And uh, why am I laughing about the, it, there was no collision, nobody was injured. A uh, guy just had a problem with the uh, wheel and an axle and uh, it happened basically right in front of us. So the uh, trooper didn't have far to go to help out. And it was a great demonstration, Jennifer. Th thanks for coordinating all that. <laughs> well, I didn't coordinate that, but it was a good <laughs> reminder of the importance of uh, driving safely and also making sure your vehicle is prepared to operate safely, including all wheels tightened and oil checked regularly and those sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're so right. Speaking of that, uh, you got to have your vehicle maintenance so that everything is safe. You have to have your body in the same sort of shape, and uh, that's kind of what you guys are about, right? Right. That's part of what we do at the Tuscarawas County Health Department is try to keep folks healthy and help prevent accidents and injuries. And one of the things that we are offering is um, sports physicals, and that is for any high school athlete, middle school athlete um, in the community. Also, if there are college athletes, um, do check with your school first, um, but some college athletes who need physicals uh, can check with their school first and may be able to get their physical here as well. Um, but again, we recommend college athletes to check first, right, but right. definitely middle school and high school athletes can get their sports physicals here at the Tuscarawas County Health Department. We are offering those sports physicals at a $30 flat fee, um, which someone can pay by cash check, MasterCard, Visa, Discover card. Um, and some folks may be able to check with their insurance if their insurance covers a sports physical and a wellness visit, they may be able to bill their insurance for mm -hmm. the fee. Um, so, you know, it's certainly worth looking into um, for those who have insurance. Uh, but again, it's a flat $30. Our nurse practitioner will do a great job um, making sure that you can get your sports physical. And we do want folks to bring their school's physical form to the appointment. And for those, you know, maybe those that are going into seventh grade or those who are going into 11th and 12th grade and they need those uh, recommended or required vaccinations for school, you can actually schedule your immunization appointment at the same time as your sports physical if you want and save yourself time and having to come back for an extra appointment. Um, we do ask that minors be accompanied by a parent or a guardian. Um, and so one nice thing too about the sports physicals we offer at the Tuscarawas County Health Department is that we do offer not only daytime appointments, but we also have some evening appointments available. Um, those appointments tend to go quickly, mm -hmm. so we encourage folks to call ahead if you need those evening appointments. You know, if you are got your work day and you can't get here um, in the middle of the day, there are options for evening appointments right here at the Tuscarawas County Health Department. And, and both of those sports things, physicals done. Yeah, both those <laughs> things you're talking about are required by the OHSAA and, and by the state, so it's not like you can say, oh, gee, I forgot you have to get that done right yes uh, most sports are going to require you to have that sports physical by a certain date or they won't let you practice mm -hmm. you know so you definitely um, want to be in your best health possible you know before going into the fall sports season and you know that's part of what the sports physical is aimed to right. do if Make i can sure if i can tell you that health. um this year july 31st would be for fall sports so you okay better get it done so that's <laughs> 
going to be the deadline. All right. Well, I, you know, I expect our phones to be ringing off the hook then uh, with folks, um, you know, scheduling their sports physicals here at the Tuscarawas County Health Department. Again, it's just the $30. And please bring that school physical form. Um, they can call us at 330-343-5555, extension 1810 or extension 1740. And if you're driving along listening to this and you didn't have time to write that down or it just wasn't safe to write it down because you're maybe not at a stoplight while you're listening uh you know you can go to our facebook page we'll have information there um, about this and you can also just call our main number and ask about sports physicals and our uh, folks will be able to get you to the right number to schedule that appointment okay well now we do talk about we just came off the uh, community safety day last saturday but the the events for this week are not over yet for the health department right no, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, in fact, we were just in Eurexville this past Saturday, as you mentioned, for the safety day. We're going to be back in Eurexville this Thursday, May 25th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, we at the Tuscarawas County Health Department were able to partner with the Eurexville Fire Department, and we're going to be at the Fire Department at 305 East 2nd Street. It's really close to Mako's Grocery Store, if you're familiar with that location. Um, and we're we're going to be offering um, nicotine quit resources. So if there are folks who are trying to quit smoking or trying to quit vaping, we're going to have resources for them. Um, we're going to have free naloxone kits, uh, also sometimes known as Narcan. Um, those kits can help save a life uh, if you know someone who struggles with addiction or maybe you just know someone who takes pain medication um, and just on the chance they might accidentally take too much, you want to have that Narcan or naloxone available to help save their lives. Um, we're also going to be providing free uh, cribettes to families who qualify. Um, this basically gives a free pack and play um, to families with young children who qualify based on income. Um, we're also going to be promoting our other family programs, uh, such as WIC. Um, we have also our Safe Beginnings program, which provides safety-related items for eligible families, such as you know, safety gates, plug covers, carbon monoxide detractors, even strollers. Um, we'll also promote our Ohio Buckles Buckeyes program, which provides car seats and boosters for eligible families. And of course, we're always promoting vaccination you know, it's that time of year where a lot of vaccinations are required before starting school and or they're required for seventh grade or entering 11th or 12th. And we, of course, do provide vaccinations. Um, so we'll be promoting that and encouraging folks to call us at the Tuscarawas County Health Department uh, to schedule their vaccine appointments for back to school vaccination. So, again, that's this Thursday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Yorksville Fire Department. Stop by and see us from the Tuscarawas County health department we'd be happy to tell you all about our programs you know because we really are about wanting to help local families um, live their healthiest and highest quality life and if we can provide this type of safety equipment um, to make your home you know a little safer and to make your children more protected then we're going to do that um, here at the Tuscarawas County Health Department and we're able to provide a lot of these services thanks to grants that we receive and uh, that's really you know a blessing for us yeah um, we yeah but we but wait there's more Brad oh, I yeah, know yeah, it, yeah. it's crazy okay. uh, this is a lot for a Monday um, <laughs> Um, but again, this Thursday, May 25th from 4 to 6 p.m. here at the Tuscarawas County Health Department, and we're located on the hill sort of behind Cleveland Clinic Union Hospital at 897 East Iron Avenue in Dover. Um, between 4 and 6 p.m. again this Thursday, May 25th, folks can stop by and pick up their free naloxone kit or Narcan kit. Um, and again, you know, those kits are essential to help save lives if you are somewhere and would encounter someone who is struggling with addiction and accidentally overdosed. Uh, or again, if you would find, you know, a, a person who maybe takes prescription medication and accidentally takes too much. Uh, sometimes we even see children accidentally getting a hold of medicines in a grandparent or other relative's medicine cabinet and accidentally overdosing. So in all of those instances, you know, it's important to have an naloxone kit handy because you really can save a life. Um, I mean, obviously you're going to call 911, but using that naloxone kit uh, can help save precious time and you can use that while you're waiting for that ambulance to arrive and provide further care. Yeah. Yeah. And again, 
Uh, if anybody wants the numbers and, and uh, the ability to get a hold of you, they can check Facebook or your webpage, and uh, that'll pretty much direct them, right? Right, yes. Visit the Tuscarawas County Health Department on Facebook. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram. And, of course, our website is www.tchdnow.org. And our main phone number is 330-343-5555. Extension 1000 will get you through to um, one of our operators who can direct you to the department you need to talk with. All right. Sounds great. And uh, Jennifer, you and everybody there have a safe Memorial Day weekend as well. All right. Uh, thanks so much, Brad. We wish the same for you and all the staff there at WBTC and, of course, all of the wonderful listeners out there. Yep. Uh, please remember to wear your seatbelts as you travel um, and be safe and enjoy the Memorial Day weekend. All right. And we will talk to you again soon. Is that all right? Sounds good, Brad. Thank okay. you. All right. We'll talk to you later. That is Jennifer Demuth. She is the Director of Health Promotion and Community Relations for the Tuscarawas County Health Department, our guest on the 830 High Beam this morning.